In the last video, I showed you how to generate text using the on-device large language models from the foundation models framework that's introduced in iOS 26 and Xcode 26 and all of the other 26 releases. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a structured output. And in this case, I will let the large language model create a person struct for me. So you can use this to, for example, create dummy data or some example data. So we start by defining the person struct and there are two new macros that we are going to use to make this available to foundation models. And the first macro is the generable macro using a description and we attach this to the person struct, so to the data type that we want to make generable. And here we can give a brief description of this data type. Now, in this case, this is very obvious. So this data type includes basic information about a person. That's already pretty good, but we can also give more information to the framework regarding the properties of this data type. And we will get started with this interests array of string. And here we can use the add guide macro, also providing a description about this property. So this is just a list of hobbies the person has. And of course, this is the basic version of creating a guide, but we can also be a bit more specific. So we can create a explicit guide here where we say, okay, this is the person's age in years. And we can say this should be a range of zero to 99. And now the model will only generate a number in this range using this guide. So this API is of course very helpful to define which um, yeah, kinds of content these variables or these parameters will have. Are you thinking about using this new API in your own app? I'd suggest to write it down in the backlog or as a new app idea in LaunchBuddy. And I actually have great news because you can get LaunchBuddy Pro for 60% off using this link until this Sunday, June 15th. Now back to the content. So now we have made our struct available to the model. How do we actually tell the language model session to create a person? Now I have a similar example here as I had in the last video where we have a question or a prompt. So in this case, generate a person representing an indie iOS developer. And then as a reply, we will have a person. Of course, this is optional as in the beginning, we don't have a reply yet. We create our language model session like that. And then we have our session dot respond to function here. And let me um, fold it up into two lines because now we're going to add a second uh, parameter here and that's called generating. And here we can say we want to generate a person dot self. And now all that's left to do is to actually show this in the UI. So we're going to say our reply is response.content, just like that. And that way we now have our reply and I've already created a little UI down here to show it to the user. So now if we go to the preview and click on ask question, this might take a second. And there we have it. We generated Alex Thompson, who's 32 years old into coding, music production, hiking and photography. And that's already it. It's super simple to generate your own data using a language model session and using the foundation models framework. One more thing though, if you at compile time don't already know the structure of the data that you want to generate. So in this example, we already knew the structure. If you don't know the structure, you should look into dynamic generation schema. And I have linked the documentation for that in the video description right next to the subscribe button.